Acute kidney injury, AKI, is a syndrome that results in a sudden decrease in kidney function or kidney damage. Acute kidney injury occurs in about 20% of hospitalized patients and in up to 40% of patients in the intensive care unit. Severely ill patients who suffer from acute kidney injury can have a death rate up to 50%. Acute kidney injury can lead to adverse events such as the development of chronic kidney disease or kidney failure requiring permanent dialysis. It may also increase your risk of heart disease or death. Let me walk you through this population plot figure to overview some of the consequences of acute kidney injury. Let's simulate we have 100 severe acute kidney injury survivors. Let's suppose 10 patients were discharged on dialysis. Of these 10 patients, four died. Two recovered kidney function. And four developed chronic kidney disease or remain dialysis dependent. Now let's focus on the group that suffer from acute kidney injury without the need for dialysis, in this case 90 patients. About one-third died. One-third recovered kidney function. And also one-third developed chronic kidney disease or remain dialysis dependent. As you can see, adverse events such as death, chronic kidney disease, or dialysis are not uncommon in patients who suffer from acute kidney injury. What can you do after having acute kidney injury? Number one, follow up with your primary care provider or kidney doctor to evaluate your kidney function recovery and your risk for post-acute kidney injury complications. Number two, discuss with your doctor if your prescribed medications are right for your current kidney function. Number three, Avoid using drugs that are toxic to the kidneys, such as NSAIDs, for example, ibuprofen, naproxen, or herbal remedies. And finally, work with your doctor to identify modifiable risk factors and prevent recurrent episodes of acute kidney injury.